Hey guys, in this video I'm going to cover greatest common factor or GCF. And first I'm going to show you how you probably learned this in elementary school for greatest common factor. I'm going to look at 24 and 16. Now when you're looking for GCF, you're looking for the biggest number that can divide evenly into both of these. You're basically looking at their factors and figuring out which one's the biggest and that they both have them. So this is how you used to find it. You'd start with 24 and you'd write 24 and then you'd write 16 on top of each other like this and then you would list their factors. So 24 is 1 and 24 and then 2 and 12. You're basically thinking of numbers that divide into 24. 3 and 8 and then 4 and 6. So here are the factors that go into 24 and then for 16 I'll do 1 times 16 and 2 times 8 and 4 times 4 so that'll just write as 1 so then after you have the factors listed for both numbers what you would do is you would look for common factors. So they both have 1 as a common factor, they both have 2 as a common factor, they both have 4 as a common factor, they both have 8 as a common factor, and then that's it. The greatest of the common factors is 8. It's the largest of the common factors that 24 and 16 have. So the GCF equals 8. Now this is the old way to do it, and this way is a little annoying, especially when you have bigger numbers like 48 and 36, or even better, how about 280 and 160. These numbers are too big to list factors. So I'm going to show you another method to do it, and let me just erase this here. This is called a division ladder. So I'm, I'm going to do 24 and 16 again. But this time, I'm going to put them next to each other. I'm going to use what's called a division ladder. Division ladder is where you make an upside down division box and you put it around both numbers. And then you try to divide these numbers by the same number. So you think about numbers that can go evenly into both of these. So if I look at both and I say, well, I know they're both even, so I can divide by 2. Okay, 24 divided by 2 is 12. You're going to write that number underneath since it's an upside down division box. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Then you look at the two numbers that you have down here. You're done with these two. You look at these two numbers and you say, hmm, what numbers can I divide both of these by? Well, they're both even. I could divide by 2 again. Or, hey, how about 4? 4 goes into both. So I could do 2 or I could do 4. Whatever works. 4 goes into 12 three times. So I write the 3 down here. And then 4 goes into 8 twice. So you can see how it's becoming a ladder. I'm just adding rungs on my ladder. Now I have 3 and 2 at the bottom. I can't divide 3 and 2 by any numbers other than 1. So I've, I'm done pulling out common factors. These numbers on the outside are the common factors. What you can do is I make a big G around these common factors and then to get the greatest, that's what the G stands for, I just need to multiply them all together. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three, sometimes there's more, but however many common factors that you actually got out, you're going to multiply those together. So two times four is eight, so the GCF is eight. And we found that by listing the factors for these two numbers before, but this is a different way to find that. Let me show you a couple other examples and kind of get used to how this ladder works. So here I'm going to look at 14 and 21. So again, I'm going to put them in a division ladder. This is also called a factor ladder. And I think about numbers that I can factor out. Hmm, two works on this, but not on this. Three works on this, but not on this. Seven works on both. Seven goes into 14 twice, and seven goes into 21 three times. Now, 2 and 3, I can't factor anything out. So here's an example where the only number that I got out was 7. Well, if you can only divide these numbers by 7, then that is the greatest common factor. I mean, it literally is the biggest number that can go into both of them, that number 7. So the GCF here is 7. So here I had multiple factors I had to multiply together. Here I only had one factor that I got out. I only had one rung on my ladder. That happens. Let's look at some other examples. 
Here I have 48 and 36. I don't want to list the factors of 48 and 36, but watch how quickly I can find their GCF just by using a factor ladder. So if I look at the two numbers, I could divide by four, I could divide by two because they're both even. Um, I'm going to start with four because I'm pretty good at my multiplication facts. I know that four goes into 48. Now how many times does it go in there? I might have to divide 48 divided by four goes in once, that's four, no remainder, and then bring down my eight. Four goes into eight twice, and that's gonna terminate. So 12, it goes in 12 times. Now I know that four goes into 36 nine times, because I know that four times nine is 36. So that one I just know, but you might have to divide. Now I'm looking at 12 and 9 and I'm thinking about numbers that go into 12 and 9 and I'm saying, hmm, 3 goes into both of these numbers. 3 goes into 12 four times. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And three, or 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now 4 and 3 don't have any common factors. 4 is composite, but 3 is prime. There's no common factors other than 1. So I've pulled out 4 and 3. Now I'm going to multiply those together to get the GCF. 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 is the biggest factor of 48 and 36. 12 fits into 48 and 12 fits into 36. All right. Here's an example 9 and 20. Now this is a good example because you notice when you go to put it in a division ladder, 9 I can divide by 3, 20 I can divide by 10 or 2 or 5 or 4, but they, I can divide them by the same number. So when there's no common factors to factor out, the only number that fits into both of these is 1. And that's the common factor. That's actually the greatest common factor because it's the only common factor that 9 and 20 have together. And then I'll do one more example for you. This is the big 280 and 160. Now this is normally very hard if you had to list factors, but with the division ladder it can be easy. I'll do 280 and 160, throw them in division box or factor ladder. I'll notice that they both end in zero, so I'm gonna divide them both by 10, which is really easy, because all I gotta do is drop the zero to divide by 10. So 280 divided by 10 is 28, and 160 divided by 10 is 16. That already made the numbers a lot easier to work with. So now I'm looking at 28 and 16. They're both even, so I'll divide them by two. I get 14 for 28 divided by two, and I get eight for 16 divided by two. These numbers are both even again, so I'm gonna divide them again. This ladder's getting bigger. 2 can go into both, 14 divided by 2 is 7, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and then 7 and 4 don't have any common factors other than 1. So I'm done pretty much, except i got to multiply all my common factors together. So I have 10, 2, and 2 for the common factors that I got out of my division box. So the GCF equals 10 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and then 10 times 2, or 10 times 4 is 40. So the GCF of 280 and 160 is 40. So that's greatest common factor using a division ladder or a factor ladder. I think it's much easier, and I think you'll find it that way too. Good luck.